Thank you for watching this quick demo on how to build a Visualizer dashboard. This is going to be a fairly simple one. We're going to walk through some of the welcome screens that come with, come with Visualizer out of the box. We're also going to just open up the Visualizer Builder tool. We will connect to a cube, draw a table, connect a graph, and add some controls that will help us pick our department or product. So let's take a look. Once Visualizer is installed, we'll look at your start menu, under Start, Programs, Clarity Systems, you should see an icon for Clarity Visualizer Builder. Open that up, you'll see Visualizer start to load. You may see a prompt asking for a web service uh, configuration. That's the same prompt you'll see right here, the web integration options. So if you put in the server name, It'll just ask, it's just asking where does it connect to the server for, for Clarity. Uh, there's some common options here. I would recommend, say, use the web servers for opening items and then use the web browser for previewing and just use the native for all that stuff. So here we are at the welcome screen. On the welcome screen. If we're going to build a report, this is where we would start. But before we get to that, I'm going to flip back into Clarity, and we're going to look at some of the some install reports that come out of the box. So here in Clarity, uh, once Visualizer is installed, you should see a Visualizer Sample Reports folder, and it will be a Welcome to Visualizer tool. Here it just shows you know, some nice uh, some formatted pieces. These are some uh, linked, linked boxes here. This is kind of handy for workflow. Also the arrows are showing up here, you can actually help folks. Um, literally point them in the right direction and where they should be going and what they should do next. So if I click, I can actually click on these boxes so this will give me up ad hoc reporting. And this is live, this is a live query of the cube. So this is connected to the demo cube but it could be easily connected to any cube. And by selecting the ellipses beside each dimension, you can navigate through each one, picking the items you want to see. Uh, also, from here, if I right click on these headers, you'll see I have a whole bunch of options around zooming. You can zoom in different pieces and there's other, other items as well we can talk about, but that's the ad hoc reporting. We'll go back to the welcome screen. There's also the income from operations to example. This is just a, a simple dashboard of what it could look like. In this one, you pick an account, you pick a scenario, and you pick a product, which is that very similar to what we'll put together. And you also have a drop down of what quarter you're looking at. The, data in the grid will change and it will match what you see in the uh, corresponding chart below. There's also a sales report sample, example of a pie chart. And there's also the sample report. Actually, I'll turn it up. So those are the ones that come out of the box just for, for as part of the, the demo cube there for, for learning. Let's start from scratch and see what that looks like. So I'm gonna go back into Visualizer Builder I get a blank canvas. The first thing I need to do here is I need to click on a grid and just draw it onto the, the workspace. And ask me if I, since this is the first object I have, it's going to ask me if I want to create a data set, which I do. Create a cube connection, which I do. A lot of these you'll just have to do the first time you start the report and you can reuse them throughout. So I want to connect to demo cube. Just test that everything's good. So now I get to start building my data set. Think about this as the grid that you want to see. Um, I'm going to call this net income. And each of these options that we see here, we can, we can drag them from page options to rows or columns. And we also have to apply some settings here. So let's say I want to see my accounts along the rows. Uh, by just dragging that along the rows, it'll open up this dialog to ask me to specify which members I want to see. In this case, I just want to see net income. So there's options for hierarchy security, uh, MDX if you want to use that, and also creating calculated members on the fly, which is pretty handy. So I also want to select my products dimension. I want to select all active products. I will need to go and select something from each dimension. That's just going to make sure that any query is fully qualified. Here I am selecting items from each of the dimensions. Here in time, I'm going to choose the children of full year. That'll just give me my quarters. The 
here, I'm going to pick 2005. Let's say I want the time to show them along my columns because I want to show the four quarters along my columns. Now you see there's a little link here for preview. So I click on preview. It's going to run the query and just give me a, a listing of what data comes back. So this is this is helpful. This tells me that <coughs> the intersections that I've selected not only does it have data, but it comes back with with these items. Just to show you something something different. If I go to account, maybe I want to see uh, descendants. So I just change that so it should show me descendants. So you see now, looking at net income, under cost of sales and variable cost or fixed cost, there's really nothing. This when it says missing, that means there's really no data. Zero is different than missing because zero is a, is a value, whereas missing there's still there's nothing. Um, if we wanted to show this, maybe we wanted to show just anything that has a value, we can filter these out by selecting the suppress missing rows. And if I look at the preview, you'll see they just disappear. So to keep things simple, I'm just going to show net income by itself, just a single number. I've got my preview one more time. I say about four, uh, four cells of data. When I click finish, there's my my first table, and there, there you go. We have a table. So let's build a chart. So I'll just click on the chart in the toolbar, drag a square on the canvas. Now that I have a data set, I can just pick the data set I already have. And let's pick, sure we'll pick a bar chart. And there's a bar chart. So you'll see that the bar chart is using the same data source as what we have up here. So just to recap, so we've, we've, we're building a visualizer dashboard. We, look at, we took a look at the Welcome to Visualizer uh, stock reports that come with it. We connected to our cube, draw, we, did, we were able to draw a table, and then we connected a graph. So the last step we want to do is we're going to add some controls. So this is where we're going to add some pieces to Visualizer to let folks navigate through and select different options. So back in Visualizer, let's say we want to add a tree control to help us select which product we're looking at, because we really can't see what product this is. So I add the tree control to the workspace. It's going to walk me through a nice little wizard to say, what do I want to, which dimension do I want? So in this case, I want all products. And it's going to show me my active products here. So that once I render this, or once I look at this in Visualizer, I'll be able to see that and uh, select from that as a tree control. Maybe a drop down is another option. So let's say we want uh, we have a drop down. Again, we draw it on the canvas. It's going to ask us what data set and in which dimension. Maybe in this case we want to say year. So we pick year. And let's say there's three years you can pick from. So those are the three years we can pick from. And that's going to show up as a drop down to select the year. So let's save this now. Save this using the web service. Let's say call it revenue. Now if I go back to, Vision, to Clarity, I'm going to refresh my screen by hitting Control F5, and I'm going to go into uh, Samples, Reports, Revenue, and here's my report. So this control that I picked, here if I change it to a particular product, maybe I'm going to look at Writing Instruments, I choose Writing Instruments, and the grid and the graph change automatically. I want to change the year, I'll go back one year, 2004. Oh, there's no data for 2004, that's fine. Go back to 2005, we're good to go. So, there's a lot more you can do with Visualizer, but this is just a quick walkthrough of how to create your first report, so hopefully this is helpful. Thanks for watching.